Hey YouTubers, this is Guardian Mike. I'm with Red. This is episode three on uh, Gary, a friend of his. Gary talk... Nagy. What happened to Gary? He got beat to death. You mean? Every bone in his body was broke. What did they use to beat him with? They jumped off a dumpster and jumped on him a bunch of times. Did they catch the people? Yeah. Was There's it a gang two of kids? Guy, two guys and a girl. How old were they? <clears throat> uh, 17, 18? Yeah, yeah. But they were from King's Lane. And they were doing a gang initiation or just doing it for fun? Just doing it for fun. Because Gary was drunk. He was sleeping behind the dumpster. Wow. Gary couldn't walk hardly at, at all. He had to walk from Bruce, uh, South Saginaw Street to Ted's store. It'd take him almost an hour. Damn near an hour. What was wrong with him? I don't know. Crippled or cerebral palsy or? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. He just didn't. He worked, he worked in at uh, Fisher Body for 15 years, and he was fine then. Then when they closed down, he just went downhill. Would you say was he depressed, mentally ill, or? Uh, both. Okay. And uh, you drank with him a little bit. Oh yeah. He, a little bit. He and lived in Tent City for what? He lived. He was the third person I took in Tent City. How did he end up over behind the school? Because he was sitting at Ted's store we drinking got a beer. We got out of Tent City. And uh, he was drinking. We drank up there all the time. Because behind Ted's, we called it the office. Okay. And we could all sit out there. Then he couldn't make it home. And he was only, he was the only one there. He went over to, over to McKinley School, and uh, he went to sleep behind the dumpster. And the black people beat him up. What time I mean, of day was this? It was, it was at, at night. night. Night, okay. And so being out on the streets not always easy. No, dangerous. No, it's not. That's why we tried to get back here before dusk. Always try to get back home before it gets dark. Yep. Yeah, we all stay together. No well, we try to stay together no matter what. But, uh, Let's say he, he couldn't, he wouldn't hurt that fly or a mosquito that's bothering us. <laughs> Just a gentle man. Yes, he, he was. He the hell out of you, but he wouldn't hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a good Sorry guy. Sorry to hear that. He was a real good guy. Anybody else that's a fallen soldier in the street here that's passed away through beatings? Uh, no, not beatings. But uh, we we had a house over on Allen Street, and uh, our buddy buddy Tony uh, froze okay. to death in there because yeah. we didn't have no heat. Tony froze to death. Yeah. Did he get did like get wet or just normally just just straight normal freezing? Just straight normal freezing. Yes. Were you there that night? No, I found him three days later. Sorry to hear that. You were the one that found him dead. Yeah. And Gary Gary was there stepping over him. Gary didn't know, didn't even check on him. Wow. I went over there to drink a beer with Gary and uh Gary Gary said, You better check on Tony. He's been sleeping here for two days. I said, Two days? When I went to touch him, he was harder than McKinley's school. Like ice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he was Did you call the police? I didn't. Yeah. But they didn't. I went and told his best friend. And his best friend called the police. I See, I had a warrant out for me then. Yeah. Did they rule it an accident or yeah, not? Yeah. Yeah. Just Frozen an accident. To death. Yep. Were you and renting the house I or told just kind of? Best friend before. No, he my buddy away. Kevin was buying it. Oh, he was. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. How long ago did that happen? Uh, well, how long has Tony been dead? About three, three years. About yeah, about three, four years. Okay. Yeah, I'm the one that found His out Tony was, Tony was talking, Clark. he was talking gibberish, talking about my mom's coming to see me, and his mom's been dead for a couple years, way before he died. He was out of it then? Yeah. yeah. He had, yeah. he was breaking in cold sweat, he was up, curdling in a fetal position in a corner, talking about, oh, my mom's coming to get me. This was in the house? Yeah. What, did he have a stroke, you think, or was he older? Uh, where he, he might just no, he dementia? Just drank himself to oh. death. He didn't he, eat, he, he, he just drank. He vodka. loved his vodka. Yes. It made him nuts. Yeah. Well, not nuts. He was a real nice guy. 
Yes, but, he was. But he, he would stay out the elements. Yeah. Ignore the elements when he was on vodka. Yep. Sorry to hear that. He's younger than me. Well, I'm 57 years old. I'm 49. Brian, 49. Yep, 49, right? He was 47. He's like a year and a half younger than I was. Yeah. All right. He was a real nice guy. You would have liked him. He would always make you laugh, no matter what. I don't care if you yeah. came out with the sentence, right. we'll he'd make you laugh. We'll pick this up later on with another later on. Is it that okay? didn't matter. Yes.